Unit 1 isn't working. What's going on folks? Welcome back to the channel. Really do appreciate you being here. If you are new here, my name's Chris and I'm building a business that suits my lifestyle. Now, if you've been following along for the last couple of weeks, we've seen some interesting developments happening within the business. We've uh, upgraded the storage unit, we've changed the storage unit, and we've seen growth like I've never seen before. We've had a few little moments of down, but pretty much trending all in the up. This week, it was all back to business as usual. However, 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 it was a little bit off. Even though sales have actually come back up after Easter break, um, they've, they've shot back up, things are going really well in that way. I personally feel though, I have not accomplished much. And there's a lot of questions around this and I want to discuss this today. But there's basically been a few problems that have happened this week, which were, you know, it was kind of out of my control, but at the same time, there was elements here which I think took my attention away, too much away from the business, and I haven't been able to do the additional things that I wanted to do to continue to get us ahead. And that's one of the topics that we'll be spending a lot of time on today, how we spend time. But otherwise, this video is another vlog. Come along for the week as I take you through what I'm doing, talking about my everyday insights into the business, there is a few rants in this episode. Uh, we, we get into some problem solving and also we do finish up with a bit of a sourcing run as well. Uh, so if you do stick around to that, that's what you'll see. Of course, we'll be covering everything else in between. And if you do stick around to the end, I do have the latest financials and numbers for the month and how the week has been tracking and things like that. So let's dive in. Folks, it's Tuesday. We're kicking off the week. I, I totally feel out of it because while well, we had the long weekend, we had the Friday off, then I did the shuffle on the Saturday. Uh, if you didn't catch that video, that's from last week. But then we had Monday off for Easter break as well. So the weekend was interesting. The weekend actually was dead quiet. I didn't really get much sales. Monday, however, I probably did more than both. Actually, I did I did more both than the Saturday and Sunday and almost the Friday. I think I did $1,083 on the Monday alone. So it was a very rewarding Monday. Uh, but today... It's the kickoff of the new week. We've also kicked off the new quarter um, or second quarter of the year, which is just blows my mind to think how quick things are traveling. Uh, but the focus today is really just, I'm gonna to continue to just finalize a couple of things in the in a storage unit setup area. I realize I don't have a um, extension lead, so I'm gonna to have to figure something out there as well. Might have to nick into Bunnings. Uh, but really the focus is, yeah, do a couple of those things, but. Number one is pick, pack, and post. We've got about, I think it's 54 orders. I could be wrong there. Uh, I'll show you when we get in. 54 orders or so, uh, which we've got to do. And then this will be the first time picking with the new system as well, like the new uh, layout. So that will obviously give us a bit of a test run to see if there's any issues, like teething issues or friction points. Uh, and then, yeah, hopefully just get some photos done of some of the stock and just start to get into that flow so it will be a bit of adjustment because well it's a new new setup a new environment but really it's not a big big changer i do have my photographer in today they're going to focus on doing um a whole bunch of uh different things we've got some shorts and we've also got some fleece i'm actually testing a new process i mentioned this a few weeks ago but we never got to it because well we've got the new storage unit so um basically testing out how i'm processing my items using a, a templated, um, it, it's kind of like, how do I say, I, I call it a processing card, and in this sense it makes the photographer's life really easy to make sure all the details are getting ticked off, or tagged, or identified, rather than, than them having to write them out. I can give you an example of this when, when we get in. Uh, so we'll be testing that process today, uh, basically doing a batch of shorts in which they will then get, um, uh, process today and then they'll go to my lister and then they will test it. They'll provide any feedback, etc, etc So uh, yeah, plenty happening. I'll take you through a little bit more as we get into the uh, day and there's a few other things happening this week as well So it's never a dull week and it's never a dull day. Let's get it folks. Let's get it
unit one isn't working. All right, so we are now up on Adam operating. So this little guy, the battery pack had gone out. And it's kind of funny because I was chatting to someone on the week and they asked the question, how do I go with all the Bluetooth settings um, set up with the, um, with the doors? And I said, never had a problem. And then we come in today and we have a problem. So it's been probably been about 15, 20 minutes, but it is what it is. I'm going to just get myself sorted and then I'm going to start to pick, pack and post. Okay, so Tuesday, we're on 47,788, and um, we've actually got 49 orders going out, but um, of that 49, it's probably about 60, because there's a few multi-quantity. I did actually, just while I was waiting for the um, the door to get fixed, I just tried out this little um, tick packing station, uh, the little trolley from the other storage unit, all the books and, and things, which has been really, really cool, actually. It worked quite well. Um, did have a bit of a boo-boo, because I dropped something and it, and it broke, which is a bit unfortunate, but... Hey, it's bound to happen eventually. It's never happened before. Uh, so a bit of a bit of a rocky start for a Tuesday slash Monday kind of vibe. Um, but we're gonna, I'm going to get all these stuff out. So that's all the books and all the um, uh, non-clothing items that have come through. And then the rest of the items I'm going to get out. And I'll chuck them here on the table. So uh, let's do that. And there we go. Choppers. These are all bundles. These are all individual items. I'm actually going to go get... I'm packing now and then we'll do some work but pretty cool actually it's really nice to be able to see the amount of clothing going out today um after you know obviously trying to make as much room as possible um but i mean we've got a total of about 60 items as i said before so probably 40 of those are clothing which is just wonderful all right let's do it all right, one of the cool items that are going out this week is this uh, vintage Sega Sonic shirt from 1992, actually. And this one's actually going out to a mate. It's going out for two, uh, two happy gamers. Um, I've given them a pretty good deal. This was listed for $250. They did not pay $250, but it's just nice to be able to have this go out to someone that I know that's really going to love it. All right, another banger that's going out this week is this M&M. Um, it's from 2000. It is like a, um, what would you call it? A bit of a bootleg kind of style, but this one has gone for just over a hundred bucks. So pretty happy to see that one go out. Also a quick mover and also from one of my recent um, bulk lots that I picked up as well. So not too bad. Another cool item going out this week is this um, Ralph Lauren Polo golf hat. Now this one has actually gone also for about a hundred dollars, which is just incredible. Um, for those that have been following along for a while, I did get a big bulk lot of hats probably, must have been about 10 weeks ago, and um, I'm still making my way through them, still learning the process, but I picked out a couple of the, um, a couple of them that I thought were pretty cool, and this one so happens to be quite valuable, so yeah, another little win. Alright, so I've finished all the postage, um, I'm just actually printing out some new processing cards that I was telling you guys about a bit earlier that we're going to be testing out for the shorts. And essentially it's just got all the different, I guess, item specifics and details for the shorts and they're going to get circled or ticked or whatever it may be. That's why we're testing it right now uh, so that it makes my life easier for a little bit. Well, one for me, but also for the photographer and also for the listener. So we're testing that process today. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how it goes. All right, team, postage is all done, all packed up here and over there. It is now time for some lunch. I'm gonna have, uh, actually, I've got corned beef, corned beef with avocado and cheese in a roll today, so not too bad, not too bad at all. And then I'm gonna start doing some, uh, some other work, so just give me a second. Oh yeah. Alright team, I didn't really show you too much because it's just been, it's actually been quite busy. I had a few more sales come through, did those. Um, we tested out the new system for the shorts, which um, obviously we're going to have my list and now do a review of that, make sure they are happy. I've just been doing a few different uh, listings, which I've now packed away. Um, this is working a charm. I haven't got the lighting set up in here. I actually didn't do any of the additional work I was going to do today in here. I just need to get some listings done. Sorry, it's really dark, but put some things in here which is really good now just before I leave I've got to go run a couple of errands personal errands um, I'm going to just get some stock out for tomorrow 
get it ready. So I've got it here ready for listing. I've already started to do it. Got a few little things going on here. This little guy, this is super epic. Oh yeah. And uh, then I'll be getting out of here. I've got to go drop, well actually my postage is getting picked up from my home. So um, I've just got to put that in the back of the car, but otherwise it's pretty much, yeah, all done. I keep forgetting today's Tuesday. So I'm going to get a few things out and then I'm going to get out of here. Um, and if you've got any questions along the way, of course, chuck them down below. I'll be back here tomorrow, probably be here Thursday and Friday. I think we're going for a thrift and a day out, so it should be pretty good. Folks, it is Wednesday. What is going on? All right, so Wednesday, just finished up at Backpack with Vic Kids and um, it was actually pretty, pretty chill down, pretty easy day today. It is cool weather. As you can see, I've got a few layers on. Um, Half day today at the shop. Basically, my focus today is I've got to pick, pack, and post. I've got about, um, I must have almost 20 orders. It's actually been pretty good, all things considered. Actually, it's been really good this week. And um, then it's really probably just got to do some tweaks to the processing card that we set up for the shorts that we were testing yesterday. It worked really, really well. There's a couple of little things, just adding a few more little bits and bobs onto that. Uh, so we'll do a bit of a tweak of that, print out some more. We'll do another iteration of that to make it a bit more feasible. Just small tweaks, but little things that will make a big difference. And then I, yeah, probably just do some photos of some stuff. Probably not gonna get a lot of that done, to be honest. I just remembered we also have a washing picking up, pickup coming on, I think we're doing it Monday, but we do need to sort through and prep some of the clothes just to make sure that you know they're good to go. So I'm probably actually gonna do a bit of that this afternoon as well. So anyway, I'll take you through it. The first thing I'll be doing when I get there is probably having some lunch. And I think my brother might be dropping by to say hi as well. So um, we'll see how much work we actually get done. All right, team, let's, uh, let's do it. Me again, I actually just wanted to kind of address a, um, a comment that I got uh, by Instagram the other day. I've been sharing um, on my Instagram socials that I'm going to Retail Fest and that um, actually, thanks to eBay, I'm able to give away um, a, couple of, a couple of tickets. Now, that aside, uh, I had actually someone message and say that why are we still talking to people or why are we seeking advice or getting questions answered from people that are on YouTube and that uh, also do eBay. And then they went on to talk about saying that, you know, it's diluted because our business success is coming more so from our YouTube, more so from our actual business itself. Now, I can't speak for anybody else. Um, there's a bunch of us that are going to be at this eBay community uh, stand, and I can't speak for them. A lot of them are all bigger than me, to be honest. Actually, I think they are all bigger than me in terms of um, YouTube numbers. And business-wise, I'm probably, maybe ahead of some, maybe the same as some, but way behind others. And what I wanted to address is, my YouTube has nothing to do with my eBay success. I share my eBay success, or my progress, or my business development, or my business progress via YouTube, but it has nothing to do with, you know, how successful my eBay is. Um, I'm very open with my numbers, as you would know. Um, and if you don't know that, if you're new here, you can jump over and watch any of my last couple of vlogs. Actually, you can go watch any of my Monday videos that I've released showing my progress of my business over the last three to four years. I show everything. And, um, you know, I, I do get very frustrated by it because I don't want to be put into this box where I, uh, here I am, you know, only showing what I want to show or... It's, it's, just, it's just pathetic, to be honest. Like, I'm not trying to put someone's opinion down because everyone's entitled to their opinion but I think it's just ridiculous if you're going to call me out and say that I'm doing something at least get your facts right first right because I'm, I'm more than happy to be given feedback um, and be called out but that, there's no there's nothing there to be called out um, my business is purely based off the business success my YouTube is me just documenting that journey uh, so something to just really take into consideration. Just, yeah, take that into consideration. I wanted to bring it to the attention. Um, what are your thoughts on that? I'm not gonna get a bit, I'm not gonna get a better phone than that. We've got the, uh, the family visiting. Dad, when I'm, a, when I'm, Dad, when I can get a phone. It's funny, I, I turn on the camera and they all be quiet, and what brother does anyway. All right, so we've got um, a total of, how much have I got? I've got 11 items going out actually. We're on $47,714. A 
couple of items going out and I've actually already done the pick, mainly just clothing. A lot of this is actually quite surprising. We've got a couple of Ralph Laurens going out for about, this one went for 55 bucks, I believe it was. Um, nice little Wrangler here as well. And some other things going international. Also sold these, which was a nice little surprise. This is just a bunch of Buttercup Pogs. Um, they've gone to the US and they've, I think they've paid $98 in total for that. That's with shipping and, um, and taxes as well. So I'm going to get all this packed up and then I'm going to sort through some of the clothing. Now, I did have another issue with the locker actually getting back into it when we rocked up. Um, and here's the lighting situation in here. I've got it set up for today. Just to give you guys a bit of a glimpse again of how things are looking. This has been working a charm, picking... Um, I'm actually still very happy, still got to do a lot of big sorting in here. We're actually going through some of this today and uh, yeah, right, I'm going to finish pick packing and posting and then we'll do some work. Alright, postage is all done. Um, we've actually had some pretty good sales come through, a lot of internationals. Today alone we have now done a total of only five sales, um, but we've done about 353 bucks, so we've actually got a high ASP of about $70, a lot going international. What we're going to do now, and this GoPro is about to die, is I'm going to start to go through some of the clothing. Basically the way we do this is we pull it out, we put it into the different brands, I take a count, and then we do our buttons and check pockets and things like that, getting it ready for the washing pickup. Um, so I'm going to do a bit of that, and then also do some of the jeans as well. So yeah, that's the, the next goal. Quick little update, still going through all the shirts. And just putting them into bags, and then I'm about to start some jeans. Alright team, I am done for the day. Still having issues with this one actually, just keeping people that are playing at home in up to date. <sighs> I'm going home. Alright, good morning folks, it is Thursday and it's actually an absolutely beautiful morning. Uh, just did a run before, had a beautiful sunrise kind of vibe, and uh, now we're off to the storage unit. It's 9.13, so a little bit behind schedule. It's actually going to be a bit of an interesting one today because um, if you've been following along for the full video, if you haven't jumped around, uh, we've been having some issues accessing the unit, which is just super ironic because I was telling people that I've never had issues with it and I think I jinxed myself, but um, so unit number one I'm not actually able to access. I won't be able to get into it today. Uh, well, not yet anyway, so essentially Every time I open up my three units, it's shorting a few somewhere, and the whole line, like the whole row goes out, um, and all of them can be accessed except for number one, which is where I do my print packing and posting and all that jazz, um, which is a little frustrating. So anyway, they've, it's been happening all week. It's now been escalated to some other vendor, and they've got to come down today and get an electrician in, and. Anyway, uh, so that, that's probably going to put a little spanner in the works in terms of doing my normal morning uh, non-negotiables like pick, back and post. However, it's not the end of the world because it means I can just use the other two units. We can do photos, we can do some sorting and prepping for, for you know, um, all these things and things like that. So my photographer is in today. They're probably going to be in probably not too far after I get there, I think. And... Uh, yeah, we'll continue to do some of the clothes prepping for the washing pickup and then yeah, just really just spend the day doing photos, doing sorting, doing testing, doing prepping. It's been a pretty chilled week this week. Um, I actually feel like I haven't achieved much because just long weekends, things haven't been going in, into a nice groove. Um, and look, this is the reality of it. Some weeks you're going to have bangers in terms of feeling great and then you're going to have weeks which you just don't feel it, but you've got to do the grind anyway. That's, that's just the reality of it. So we'll charge on today. I'll take you through the goodies, take you through what we get up to. And um, yeah, let's rock and roll. Working. All right, good news, folks, is we got in. <laughs> it's always good news. Um, we've got a few orders going out. We've got 16 orders. 
Um, uh, we're at 48,351, so we're getting close to that actual 50,000 again. Um, this guy went for $81, and the rest is really just clothes. Um, we did have a couple of books going out, and a bit of Lego and a little paper boy hat as well. Um, so pretty happy with this, really just bread and butter. But 16 orders since last night, I'll take it, I'll take it. I've got uh, eight people pending to pay. So, let's see, let's see. All right, I'm going to get this happening, or I might even actually start on some other things and wait a little bit just in case those payments come through. But regardless, it's going to be pretty, pretty easy pack, I think, except for that one. Don't think I've got a box for it. All right, quick change of plans. I'm going to actually continue sorting through the jeans and stuff to get it ready for the washing. Just get that out of the way, and that way we can just focus on doing actual work for the rest of the day. So I'm going to do these jeans, and I'm going to do those jeans. All right, we've done all the jeans. We also got into the rest of the clothes. I mean, clothes, into the rest of the shirts. Um, and now, basically, these won't all go out at the one time, um, but I will divvy these up. Uh, these are getting picked up Monday. We're not here tomorrow, so um, that will just make my life a bit easier for Monday morning. Tomorrow, I'm actually going to, uh, what is it, the Retro Star Vintage Wholesale Warehouse Clearance Sale, which is nothing over $10. Uh, so that should be a good little experience. That's at midday, so heading over there, probably do a bit of brunch with Carla in the morning, and then we'll head over there. But right now, I'm going to finish packing orders. All right, folks, postage is all done. We ended up with about 25 packages, um, so that's nice. Big PlayStation 2 box in that one. I'm going to have some lunch, and then I'm actually going to do finally do some photos for some listings. It feels like it's been forever. Quick little update folks, just doing um, a whole bunch of the phones today actually, just looking for some quick wins that we can get some volume happening, so sorting through some of these old Nokia's, some of these will actually do really really well by themselves, whereas others I just bundle them up and put them in bulk lots, so I'm going to get all these ones done today, and all these ones, I've already done a couple of other things, I've also done some of these Skylander things as well, so uh, yeah, I'm also thinking about whether I sell this guy, or actually keep it for myself, it was in one of the lots, Found him in there, pretty cool. Ah, a tough challenge. All right, Tim, we're about to finish up. Just got a whole bunch of stuff ready for, probably won't be here tomorrow, but for Monday, just what I'll be photographing. Uh, we've got cameras, cameras, and more phones. Um, and then I've got a bit more of little stuff over there, but these are really just focusing on quick things at the moment. We did finish up all with the clothing, as you can see here. This is all getting, well not all of this, but uh, probably a good half of it, if not more, will be getting picked up on Monday morning. I uh, just got that done because, again, not here tomorrow, so making sure that's all done. Still got plenty of stock, plenty of stock, plenty of stock, which is which is great. Um, these are all jeans, shirts, there's some pretty cool stuff in here. And uh, postage, all done. Ended up having another six or seven sales come through. So I actually did them because, again, not here tomorrow. Um, and yeah, so all in all, pretty, pretty good. I'm a happy, I'm a happy chap. We've actually been selling quite a few books as well, making some space in there. So yeah, I'm going to get out of here and um, well, we'll come along for the ride tomorrow. Folks, it is now Friday and uh, this is actually going to be an integrated version of sourcing fodder within the business blogs. So you're getting a little double whammy today, or uh, well, in this episode. So today we're actually, well, actually we're going to go have breakfast, brunch. I owe Carla brunch. I lost a bet uh, to do with some rainfall, but anyway, um, that's another story. Uh, we're going to go have some brunch, and then we're heading over to Retro Star Vintage Warehouse. They're doing a ten dollar sale today, so we're going to head over there, see what goodies we can find. Then we're going to go into the city, hang out there for a bit, probably do a little bit of a thrift around and then we're going out for dinner. It's a beautiful day for it. So come along, we'll show you what we can and um, wish us luck. So folks, the short answer was, it was a bit of a bam bam. Um, the line we waited for one hour, literally one hour to get in. We were probably in there for 
an hour. Probably an hour. But we came out with four things. Not not too bad, like a couple of denim shirts and stuff, but it was just too overwhelming, too many people. And they are bringing out more stuff, but it's just not worth it. So anyway, we're now in Port Melbourne, and we're going to try our luck at some of the op shops uh, before we settle in and take it easy for the rest of the evening. So wish us luck again. Folks, we uh, we did all right. The well, after a little retro warehouse, there was a bit of a disappointment. We hit up Port Melbourne. We went to one, two, three. We went to four shops. Mm -hmm. uh, first one, nothing. Second one, Vinnie's. We did get a whole bunch of books. Uh, I think we spent must have been about seventeen bucks there or so because they actually had a ten percent off as well. Um, and then we went to Salvos, and we got we actually spent like one hundred and eighty dollars there. I even got a little discount because they're. Um, point system was down. Uh, we got a lot there. I'll have to show you a bit later. Um, I think I got 12 items there. Some really high-end value stuff and a few risky stuff never seen before. And then we went to Red Cross and was it Red Cross? Mm -hmm. And we got one one item. Um, nothing too crazy, but I was able to make a bit of a connection there as well. So that was good. Good fun. Um, now we're going to go have spicy Korea. Some fried chicken. Yep, yep, yep. Any wise words from you, babe? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Don't do drugs, stay in school. <laughs> Just the usual spiel. <laughs> Alright team, we're back here. It's actually Sunday. I'm going to take you through all the stuff we got from the retro style vintage place and then I'll take you through the stuff that we got from the um, well, from the thrifting. Kyle is here as well, just doing a little bit of picking. Alright, so from Retro Star, we only got four items. We got this Lee uh, denim shirt, which ain't too bad. We also got a Levi's um, Pearl Snap. This is a women's, nothing too crazy, but um, just bread and butter. Another Levi's Pearl Snap, again, bread and butter. And then a Wranglers. This is kind of, it's almost new to be honest, but it's a modern, also a women's. Actually, looks like we got pretty much all women's um, and this one. So we paid. 40 bucks for those, so $10 a pop, which, look, really, I would have liked to pay a little less, but it's not too bad, to be honest. Um, let me get the next stuff out for you. All right, and then from the op shops, I think we got over, I can't remember the counts, it must have been about 15 items, could be more or less, I'll put it up on screen, but we did get a few books, we got some Halo books, uh, nothing crazy, but... They're pretty good. These were only two bucks each, which were pretty good. A good little Commander Conqueror as well. Um, we did get this big one. Now, this one, the comps, the last sold, was way up there. There's a few listed for way up there as well, but hopefully that will pay for the majority of all this. Um, we've got the Fallen series and this one as well. This series complete. Uh, so that should be 40, 50, 40, 50, probably 30, 40. Um, and that one should hopefully get get right up there and then in terms of the clothing we did some pretty interesting stuff we got this um some ladies leather pants which we got a lot of ladies stuff today actually um then we had this one which was i believe this was sheep skin which is a bit bit different again women's the ladies uh, we got some women's rollers corduroy flares they should do pretty good pretty nice color as well did pay up for all this as well. These two pairs of jeans are the gamble for the day. Um, the designer jeans, women's, uh, they are known as uh, June Baos. So we've got two of those, really interesting styles, but I'll take them, give them a gamble. Then we got, um, sorry for not giving you a good angle here, uh, just some Joseph, uh, I think it's Ribkoff, which are pretty nice leggings. Uh, I've got a Midnight Oil um, project shirt, nothing crazy, but just just nice one. Um, then we got some bread and butter shirts, so we've got some Thomas and Benno. We go. Um, Thomas and Benno, and then we've got a Herringbone Sydney woven in Italy, very nice shirt. That's a French cuff. Then we did get this big polo. It's a little, look, it's a little marked here and there, as you can see, um, but should do okay. That needs a bit of have a bit of a soak, but ah, should be all right. So, look, we've done pretty good. Total expenditures up on screen for combined for the both deals, 
and then um, total items of course nothing has sold yet because it is Sunday today I haven't listed anything and you're gonna see this video within 24 hours of me doing this so yeah I'm pretty happy with it I mean it was a bit of a bummer we didn't get as much at the retro star um, warehouse but it is what it is so I'm gonna leave it there and um, we'll do it all again next week so there you go and the topic that as I said at the start that I wanted to really just kind of get back onto around whether it's lessons and learnings from the week but it is how do we spend our time and obviously I can only speak for myself because you know I'm not here to tell you how to do your business this is how I'm building mine but how I've been experiencing it and maybe it's something here that can you know roll over to you or maybe give you some fresh perspective but I think as business owners whether it be you're a full-time seller, whether you're a part-time seller, or whether you're just doing this as a side hustle to make some extra dollary dues, we need to understand what are our intentions. And then we need to ensure that the math actually tallies up for the required time and effort. Now, what I mean by this is, sure, if this is a part-time gig for you or a side hustle for you on the weekends, it's a few hours a week, which is great. That is brilliant. Like, I'm envious of you. And it means you can do very, very little to get such a really big reward. It's amazing, right? I remember doing op shopping way before I was doing a reselling business. And it was very rewarding because you could pick up things for a dollar, two dollars, five dollars here and there, flip it, get an extra hundred bucks into your, you know, into your bank account. And that's just nice cream on top. It's great. But for me, I have to look at everything from a whole different perspective. I'm looking at it from a long-term business view. And if you're a business owner like myself, where you are building a business for the long term, you will resonate with this. Or maybe you're someone that wants to build a business and maybe you do want to have a company or staff or employees or whatever. This will give you some insight of that as well. Because if you do want to, and this is what I want, I want to build a business which will have multiple staff. I've already got two, like one employee and then one um, one contractor, but I want to have multiple staff. I want to have multiple revenue streams coming into the business and I want to have a brand presence that will be in the market and be known as well. And to do that, I need to do a lot of different things to enable that to actually happen. I can't just be going out and just picking up nice, you know, bolos and things like that. But of, of course, <laughs> I want to be doing that. But the reality is I can't do that. And for me, it's not about the reselling. It's not about finding those bolos. It's not about finding those quick wins but it's about finding the consistency. It's about finding a flow and it's about finding repetitive and repetitive and consistent revenue, sales and stock that I can basically put into the machine and let it tick over and continue to go. And basically meaning more and more of me not having to do it. <laughs> and I need to do this not just for me, but I need to do it for my workers. If I've got people that I'm paying, I need to make sure they've got work to do. Otherwise, what am I paying them to do? So it is a bit of a, a juggling act and we need to be mindful of how we do spend our time. So for me, over the last last week, I just didn't feel like I was able to do a lot of slingshot activities. And this is what I like to think about the things that I'm doing today that's going to help me for the next two weeks or the next week. Or um, it's like when you do photos for listings, you do them so that you can do listings. Well, ideally, you want to do more than just enough for today. So you bank a few days in ahead. That's what I'm talking about. And when we do that, that enables the growth because you're getting ahead. And it's the same mentality of if you take five dollars and you buy something and then, you know, you're able to sell it for $20 profit. Now you can go buy four more of those items and sell it again. And all of a sudden you have $80 profit potential. It compounds. So this is the same for me. If I'm having people work for me, it's the same for me if I'm leveraging tools or workspaces such as my storage units to enable more output. It helps multiply or it helps compound the results only if they have the right, I guess, fuel going into the system, if that makes sense. The difference for me though is mine is a longer term return, right? It's, it's not so quickly. Like I can't just buy something and then it's going to compound instantly once I sell it, but I have to train people. I have to get people into a flow. We have to follow processes. We have to work through systems. We have to deal with, you know, ups and downs. There's, there's a lot of complications that go with it. I mean, really, it's, it's not really that complicated. I'm not, I'm not trying to overcomplicate it either. But what I'm trying to say is it's not as simple as just like, yeah, go out, buy something, list it, sell it. It's now making sure that multiple people can do that at a scalable and at a fast run rate that is sensible and still maintaining quality. Now, I say this as I am making it clear to myself the things that could and should have been better. So for me this week, I have felt that I haven't been able to spend a lot, a lot of time in the business. Now, that is okay because ideally I want to be out of the business, but 
you know, that's also the opportunity is when you have staff working for you, yeah, yeah, I can make them do all the work and I can kick back and do nothing, but then we're only basically continuing to do the same. I'm not willing to be just doing the same. I want to be moving forward. Even though we've seen such growth over the last three months, that's great. That's what I want. But we still have a long way to go to get to where I want to be, getting profitability, um, building out spaces, and then the next level of opportunities that I have on my on my plan, right? So these things take time. They take effort. And I actually had a, a wonderful question come through from, I think it was Puppy Dog Diary. She asked me in my live stream. It's like, she's been seeing the amount of growth and the amount of work that's been going into that, which I appreciate. Um, you know, how am I? And to be honest, like, I'm really good, but after those three weeks of just go, 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 I've definitely felt over the last couple of weeks that I've slowed down because I haven't had that carrot in front of me of quick wins that I've got to go get. And what I mean by quick wins is I had all those deals back to back. I had those opportunities that I was able to go pick up and potentially, um, you know, make some really good money out of, which I've now got, but now it's the part of now having to go through them, process them, but I've had a few other things on as well. So to answer your question, Puppy Dog Diary, I'm doing well, thank you, and I appreciate you. All right, so if you stuck around this long, um, we do have the financials that I want to take you through. Now, at the time of this video of me actually recording it and actually filming it, it's, uh, I think it is 9.06 in the morning on Sunday, so it's the day before this video comes out. Now, at the time of this, uh, you know, we've, we've actually seen a pretty good month, but for those that maybe you don't know this or you haven't followed along before, a lot of my costs come at the start of the month. My storage unit, I pay all my consignments. Obviously, I'm paying my staff on a weekly or if not fortnightly basis. And But a lot of my consignments and my storage and those bills, reoccurring bills, come in the first one to two weeks, which is why what you're about to see is going to show you that I'm currently operating at a negative 18% net profit for the month. And that's normal. It was the same about last last month as well. Uh, because we've had so much expenditure go out. It's a timing thing because I pay all my consignments for March in April. So it's a bit of a follow on process. I'm not too concerned by this. We're actually trending in a right direction where we're actually doing about $735 per day at the moment, which is really rewarding. If we can keep that tick happening, we will probably trend to my best month again. Uh, but we won't bank that until we've got a couple more weeks behind. Speaking of the week, also at the time of this video, which is 907. Uh, this is what the week's looking like. We're sitting at about $5,147, uh, which is really rewarding. Um, and if there is a difference, I'm actually going to put that up for you. You can see the differences on screen, uh, just so you can have an understanding of the changes that happen between the next, basically between now and the end of end, end of Sunday. So it's been an interesting week, like really, really rewarding. Very happy with this. Um, it helps build the momentum for the start of the month. There is a few more things coming up this month, which is going to be very interesting. So I've got Retail Fest in a week's time, uh, which I'll be flying up to the Gold Coast, heading over there. If you are going to Retail Fest, make sure you reach out, say hi, um, let me know and see if we can, you know, I can't guarantee I can catch up with everyone, but if you're in the conference, by all means, let's let's chat. Um, and then I've got a few other opportunities happening later in the month as well, which will require some inter interstate travel as well. So it's it's busy. It's all happening. Um, but, you know, to me, this was just a business as usual week. Sometimes you don't feel like you're making huge progress over the last few weeks like I have. But it's okay because you still got to do those things that have to happen, like the non-negotiables, just the BAU activities. So appreciate you being here. If you did have any questions, comments, chuck them down below. Otherwise, you have a wonderful day. Cheers.